Hi, this is Patrick McIntosh cycling the world and there's my bike by the tree and I stopped in these woods in northern Denmark because I can hear a cuckoo and I'm rather hoping that the cuckoo, wherever he is, might just give us an indication of his sound because it's quite unusual now to hear a cuckoo, especially this far north. Uh, of course a cuckoo is a beastly bird in some respects but that's part of life and how we all evolve. Anyway, I wanted to add to the um, uh, eating business uh, for cycling around the world as a vegan. And the one thing that uh, I add, need to add to is that as I cycle along I have a, a drink that has uh, a certain amount of carb um, uh, carbohydrate uh, in it uh, along with apple juice. And apple juice, believe it or not, is an extraordinary uh, good stimulant, particularly for cyclists. So some of the professional cyclists use apple juice as a means of keeping themselves going on long rides. And in addition to that, I have the simplest of things, which is a mixed bag of fruits, uh, dried fruits and nuts, all sorts, walnuts and almonds and cashew nuts and peanuts, uh, every sort of nut you can think of. And I just mix it all together and every morning I grab a bag of these uh, dried fruits and nuts and put it in my saddle bag at the back of my bike as you can see. Uh, together with some energy bars which you can get, things like naked bars which are uh, very environmentally friendly and very good for your body um, and protein bars which you can get from vegan food stores and the combination of, of that means that I basically can cycle from 9 o'clock in the morning when I leave to 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening when I arrive back uh, at the van having covered as much as 100 miles and simply been able to graze my way along very happily. So um, if you don't think it's possible, have a go because I'm the living proof that this diet works and you can have a wonderful life without having to screw the climate or screw any animals in order to have a wonderful life.